Hey, let's continue exploring the MoGraph tools. Add another sphere object. Then select icosahedron from the type list. And set segments to 19 as we did before. Alright, let's edit this object. Now select the whole sphere with select all. Okay, this time we will use disconnect instead of extrude. Let's turn off preserve groups and press OK. That's it. Now go to MoGraph and select Fracture Object. Okay, drag the sphere and make it child of Fracture Object. Next, go to MoGraph again and this time select Formula Effector. Very good. To continue, select Fracture Object on the Objects panel. Then drag Formula Effector to the Effector tab. Alright, now select Formula Effector and move its axis. Then select Fracture Object and go to Object. Set Mode to Explode Segments. Now we can see changes in the sphere. Next, go back to Formula Effector. As you can see, the sphere is not affected by the axis yet. In order to create the effect we are looking for, go to Parameter and turn off Position. Notice the shape has changed. In addition, turn on Absolute Scale. Next, go to the former and change the formation. Select Object from the list. Then go to Fall Off and change shape. And select Sphere. That's it. Now we can see the circle that composed Formula Effector. Let's carry out some tests. Let's move the axis. Also we can use the Scale tool and change the size. Finally, go back to Parameter and reduce the scale until you get something like this. That's it. This is the effect we were looking for. Let's take a look. Move the axis like this. Alright, it turned out really well. Now let's press Render Active View. Okay, it looks right to me.